Something is on the move along the abandoned tracks, and it's not only the weeds and rust. Trains haven't been here since it was deactivated in the 1960s. The three and a half mile stretch used to connect Regal Park and the Rockaways. When I ride the, the subway, when I ride the train, I can see the tracks. And so just wondering what that was. He had a long commute to a rally Wednesday afternoon there outside City Hall to talk about the tracks that he sees on his trip from Far Rockaway. Connecting the borough of Queens together, making it easier to go from one part of Queens to the other. Um, I think that would be a great thing. Two different plans have been presented. Queens Link is the reason for the rally to get the administration's attention. That plan would reactivate the line for light rail and trails. Puts uh, the question of how to use this right of way to the people. You know, what is the most value that this right of way will to deliver to the most number of people? And I, I, I th we just want that conversation to happen. Supporters of the other project, called Queens Way, see a park similar to the High Line. The city of New York has budgeted $35 million to create parkland in a section around Forest Hills. In a statement, friends of the Queensway say they're excited about the progress and look forward to working with the city. The park project's first community area is in the design phase with the city, and next year, community feedback will begin. The transit plan supporters say there needs to be a current study done of the cost and work for rails and trails. We are the ones that are saying, let us do both of these things. And we also get to respond and listen to communities that get ignored. I checked with the MTA. A spokesperson tells me this is one of 20 projects being analyzed for possible expansion over the next two decades.